Hey guys, it's Luch, and I watched, finally, the documentary about Harry Nilsson called Who is Harry Nilsson and Why is Everybody Talking About Him? He performed the song Everybody's Talking in Midnight Cowboy. He didn't write it, interestingly enough. He was a songwriter of epic proportions. He was sort of a misfit and drifted into this career and worked with people who believed in him and his talents and he had such a unique voice and was admired by Brian Wilson and Yoko Ono and Ringo and Robin Williams, all people he had worked with. He was very good friends with Ringo and of course John Lennon in the the lost vacation years. His relationship with John Lennon was, you know, they were close, but it was really on a self-destructive kind of tear. He was pretty self-destructive. He was married about three times, kind of got it right on the last one. But he wrote songs that like Three Dog Night had a huge hit with One is the Loneliest Number. And the songs he wrote were so uniquely him and quirky and weird and yet he was respected by the people he wanted to be respected by, the Beatles. But it's a documentary that goes through his, I, he didn't want to perform live, he didn't want to tour, which was unheard of at the time. And it's a really interesting story about a guy who clearly just had an idea to do things the way he wanted to do them. And you'll know all the music. It evolved into some really interesting stuff, Jump Into the Fire. And as Mickey Dolenz of the Monkees, who talks, who was a good friend of his, talks and says, you know, he just wasn't a guy that was coasting and stopping and slowing down. He just was on full speed ahead, self-destructively, unfortunately. Right, you guys? Cheswick's a little sad about the end of Harry Nelson. But it's a documentary that's so good, so worth exploring. And I saw it on, I want to say, Amazon Originals. It's called Harry Nilsson. Who is Harry Nilsson? And why is everybody talking about him?